Hello, this is Alan and Doris talking to you on behalf of the Retake Mass Effect movement. Now, I know on the forums, initially I was going to uh, go into this, you know, into the game in detail, you know, all the different points and stuff like that about the game ending itself that we didn't like, and also mention quite a few positive things about the game. Because let's face it, 95% of the game is absolute pure gold. But, there are other sites out there, such as Angry Joe, that do way better at describing these points than I ever could. So, I'm just going to leave that part to them, and I'm going to talk about a few other things that need to be talked about. First of all, Retake Mass Effect as a movement is by far one of the most mature, organized, polite, and civil gamer groups ever. And I mean that by the fact that I've been on the internet for 17 years plus and have seen all the different varieties of complaints and flames and stuff like that. Stuff that I never got involved with because, well, quite honestly, even though I agreed with some, with some of them sometimes, it just wasn't worth it to sto stoop down to that level of immaturity. No, the Retake Mass Effect 3 movement is by far the most mature I've ever seen, and it gets its point across in, in polite and constructive ways. So, why then are we being called entitled or spoiled by a few uh, by a few review groups such as IGN? Well, they're under the impression that gamers are nothing but a bunch of whiny, immature babies, and well. Well, not entirely true. Up until this point, they haven't had a real reason to believe otherwise. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But it doesn't make that true for this group at all. If you go on the forums, go to the uh, So We re Can't Really Get the Ending We Want thread. It's well over 1,800 posts. Uh, it's not posts, sorry, pages of posts. <laughs> and it's so very positive and so very polite and, cons you know, and civil. And the members of the community have taken it upon themselves to police that fact, to make sure everyone understands that they need to follow the rules of the board, to make sure that they understand that, you know, flaming comments are not to be tolerated, and not to be done, period. I mean, never before has there been this level of, you know, cooperation by so many. Um, then there's other people that are still under the impression that we're the minority of the gamers, that, you know, the majority love Mass Effect 3. And it, well, sorry, we all love Mass Effect 3, I should say, that we all, that they're under the impression that the majority love Mass Effect 3's ending. Well, anyone that does polls, you know, scientific polls, polls, you know, they do this sort of thing for a living, can tell you that how polls work in general is that they take sample groups from various points in different locations, you know, and through across various demographics to get their percentages. Well, there's one poll in particular on the Mass Effect forums, oh, sorry, I should say the BioWare social forums, that has well over 50,000 people contributed to it. And these people aren't just from North America, these people are from all over the world. They're from all walks of life. They're from all, I won't say all ages, because, you know, obviously at a certain point you don't play games, so, you know, you're too young. But from a lot of, from a wide variety of ages that you know, normally don't, you know, like a lot of which don't normally don't act mature, but this is a, you know, this is exactly what a, a you know, a scientific poll is. It's not an official one, but it has that wide variety to get that percentage. So, really, it's indicative of a majority, not a minority. But at any rate, enough about that part of it. Um, Let's look at the, the entitled uh, tag very closely for a moment. What the people that use this tag about the movement are implying is that we have no right to criticize or comment on a product. What they're forgetting is that we paid for this product. We paid good money for this product. And that gives us every right to voice our, our complaints to, and to want the product fixed any other situation in real life, we'll say, we'll, we'll, we'll separate this from uh, the gaming world and the, the real world, we'll separate the two for a sec. If a product is defective, 
or if the product is disliked because it doesn't include what it was advertised to have. The people that have that product take it back to the store and demand it be fixed or demand their money back. There's no difference. You know, there's no difference between that situation and what's going on right now. We all paid good money for this product. We were told it would have certain things, and you can find the pre-release interviews that, that make all these claims. One of my favorites is the one that says, uh, we don't, we don't want to give gamers an ABC ending. You know, we want them to have choice. But anyway, I'm sure you can figure out why I like that one. But the, uh, the point of it is, is that we're not entitled. We're doing something that people have been doing for years. It's just the first time it's come on to this scale for this particular medium. Now, there's the other argument that, oh, this is art. You can't, you know, like this is creative art that, you know, you can't, uh, you can't change it. You know, it's a vision from the people that create it. Well, that's true to some regards, except the part about not being able to change it. For example, the, the author, Sir Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle, received basically, I guess uh, the term, I don't know if I'd call it a public upgrade, but a massive amount of opinion from his readers that they didn't want Sherlock Holmes to die. So what did he do? He brought Sherlock Holmes back to life. I mean, really, if a, if a book can do it, a video game that's highly interactive and very malleable, it's not like it's set in stone, it's actually very malleable as a medium, can do this. And, you know, like movies, for example, the reason why you see so many alternate endings and stuff like that, or extended cuts, is that, you know, people thought they might not, you know, their, their review audience might not have thought that these actually work for the, the story. Because movies do that. They have test screens. They show the audience different parts of the movie, or sometimes even the whole movie in its entirety, and go, okay, what worked here, what didn't, what did you like, what didn't you like? And... You know, I, I can't say that, you know, the vast majority of movies are good, but a lot of the really good ones, you know, obviously had taken these sort of things into account. So, yes, it might be considered art, but yes, we, it can be changed, and it should be. Well, I should say it should be when the majority, which this is clearly is, demands it, or in our case, politely asks for it. But another one that really bugs me, another opinion that really bugs me is that if Bioware does give in to the ma retake movement, that it sets a bad precedent for all the other companies. No, it doesn't. It sets a good precedent. It, says it, it sets the precedent that you have to listen to your paying customers. If, if the majority of people don't like something, you have to fix it. That is a good precedent. I, I don't understand this this thought of you can't change, you know, you can't fight big misses, you can't change, you know, their minds about anything or anything like that. It all comes down to money. And money is a big deciding factor for these businesses. And if they, you know, continue to behave bullishly like this, and this isn't just the gaming companies, this is a lot of things that have been going on over the last two decades. If you look at customer satisfaction 20 years ago, it's way higher than what we have today. But anyway, I'm getting off topic again. The, the point of it is, is that BioWare stands everything to gain if it listens. It's, you know, positive word of mouth is still the strongest form of advertisement. And it's not just limited to individual cities or towns or states or provinces now. It's worldwide. The internet has allowed that. So, all of a sudden, you have a company through the through word of mouth is the pinnacle of gaming companies. That it listens to its customers. That, you know, like it, it really believes that its customers and fans matter. You've got suddenly groups of people going out and buying games from that company. And let's face it, Bioware is an awesome company. Bioware has produced quality product for a long time. Relatively speaking, of course. All of a sudden, you've got people going out and buying their really awesome product just on their name alone because they care. Other companies, well, at least at first, other gaming companies will have to follow suit. And I mean, that can only mean good things for the medium as a whole. 
Anyway, that's some of the stuff I wanted to address. Uh, please, everyone in the retake Mass Effect movement, stay positive, hold the line, and stay civil. Keep us alive.